Welcome to the first ever Price is Right Baseball Edition. I'm going to ask Jack and Jake a series of questions, and they're going to try to guess the closest answer to that question. Whoever's closest will get one point, but if they get the exact answer correct, they get two points. But if they go over the answer, they lose a point. Let's see who wins. And we'll start off with our first question. How much money did David Price make in his career? The David Price is Right is the joke here. At one point, he was the highest paid pitcher ever, I believe. I think the Red Sox made him the highest paid pitcher ever, and I think he got... A number I'm thinking in my head, but not saying. Are you a ball knower? David Price on the Red Sox was like really good. I wrote down my answer. How confident are you in your penmanship skills on a scale oh, of one to ten? My handwriting is the thing I'm most embarrassed about in the world. Me too. I got real bad handwriting. So anyone who is like a hands freak at watching at home, get a life. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, Jack, do you have your oh, answer? It's, I don't because if you go over, you get minus one point. Getting over is horrifying. <laughs> Starting out in the negatives okay. would be a tough way to ride. So this is a horrible. No, ride it. We're going confident. Here we go. All right, reveal your boards. Three hundred sixteen million. Two hundred twenty-two million and two hundred twenty-two dollars. Jack, you went over. You get a minus one point. The answer is two hundred and forty-eight million dollars. Oh, wow. So Jake, that's a pretty close guess. I was gonna guess. 240, but then I got horrified of going over. Yeah. See, that's the smart way to play. You can already see the strategies developing, and Jack, I hate to say it. How'd but you land on that? the negatives? If you don't mind I asking. believe, I thought his one contract with the Red Sox, it was over 200, I believe. Right. I think it was like 2.4 or something. Right. So I thought he had another big one, but I guess not. Next question. A Honus Wagner card broke the record for the most expensive card ever sold. What was the cost of the card? Good question, though. Thank you. Because this is definitely an Instagram post that we all saw, and we're like, oh, I'm on a Wagner card. This has all been on our Facebook feeds. You strike me as a Facebook user. That hurts me. <laughs> but it's true. I wrote down my answer. I got mine. Are you guys confident? No. Kind of. Reveal your boards. 2.1 mil. I put 1.2 mil. The answer was $7.25 million. Jack, you're back on back. the board. You're at zero. <laughs> back on zero, baby. Back at zero is a good autobiography name. Now, this one is my favorite mm. question. Ronald Acuna Jr. has stolen oh. 61 bases at the time of recording this video, which is an insane number. How many stolen bases does he have in his career, not including this season? He was a rookie in 2019, I believe. I believe it was 2018. I'm not great with years. Like, sometimes I'll write something and cannot believe that's what my brain yeah. told my hand to do. I couldn't take notes in college because I'd take them. And in high school, I'd take the notes and then read them back to study. And I couldn't read my own handwriting. It's tough. Reveal your answers. 75? 151. The answer is 107 career stolen bases. We are back to a tied game, Jake. That's unfortunately a minus one. Wait, doesn't he jump me? Oh, he does yeah. jump you. Wow, the negatives are God. really an interesting strategy. One to zero? Shoot. <laughs> Isn't it crazy that he has 61 stolen bases this year and every other year he has 100 that combined? That does seem slightly off. Yeah. You may be wondering why would we ever guess anything kind of high. If you get it exactly right, it's two points. Uh, Steven Strasburg recently retired mm. from the MLB, which made me sad. When his contract ends, what will be his total career earnings? Mm. I think I've got a good shot at this one. I miss Strasburg already. He misses you. I don't think so. <laughs> that was so sad. I like playing the violin. <laughs> I always thought that was the most badass thing. Violin? Like when someone's really ripping the violin oh, and they're doing that yeah. kind of like crazy head thing. Like a fiddle? 275. 168. Jake, you get the point. It is $351 million. Wow. 351? It's good to be a really good pitcher. It's good to start pitching when you're young. Mm -hmm. And it's good to hit free agency after you win World Series MVP. Yeah. Good luck in retirement, Steven. Next question. What size cleat does Madison Bumgarner wear? I hate stats questions. Seven and a half. <laughs> <laughs> he kind of does strike me as someone who has lady feet. I don't think Madison Bumgarner would like me. So I think no, no. 
<laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> Spare my feelings. I, I think to be on a horse, you either got to have crazy. big old boots or tiny little jockey feet. Because to go over here would stink. Really? To, go, yeah. to go minus one on yeah. Bumgarner's feet. You don't want stinky cleats. I have my answer. And this is a great opportunity to get two points. Yeah. This is probably the best opportunity oh, so yeah. far to get an God. exact answer. Reveal your boards. Nine. It is size 15. Jake, you are correct. That's 13 and Nine? a half. Nine? That's a terrible guess, Jack. Nine is some small feet. He's a big guy. I thought he had really small feet. Nine is, like, really small. What yeah. size shoe do you wear? Twelve. You think Madison Bumgarner has a... <laughs> Is that what's smaller than your feet? <laughs> I thought he had dainty feet. That's a terrible guess. <laughs> he rides horses. I don't think there's any correlation to foot riding and horses. I mean, outside of, like, j- jockeys, but for what he yeah. does. Maybe I got caught up in the jockey of it. <laughs> uh, jo- the jockey of it all. All right, bet the bad by me, I'll say it. How much does a hot dog mm. at the Oakland Coliseum cost? How much a hot dog? This is this is before tax. I'm out on tax. <laughs> You'd love yeah. these guys I know who do, like, a tea dump every summer. <laughs> <laughs> That's his hit. <laughs> <laughs> you would have been so bitching during the revolution. Yeah. <laughs> do I have a group of guys for you? Oh, okay, I have my answer. Not to get ahead of myself, but there is a bonus question available to this question. On this one? That's my favorite. I love a good bonus question. Reveal your answers. I've never gotten a bonus question, but one day I hope to. 525. Four. The answer is $7.79. Uh, so, Jack, you get a point. Jack, you get an opportunity at a bonus yeah. question. If you get this correct, you get another point. Does it cost more or less to buy a hot dog at Yankee Stadium than it does at the Oakland Coliseum? I'm going to go. It costs more at the Coliseum. That is correct. You get a bonus point. It costs $6.24 to buy a hot dog at Yankee Stadium. So I do not know what the people of Oakland are up to and why they think their hot dogs are that valuable. That's very expensive. Our next question. (laughs) Now, this question is a... I love this question. Oh, this is tremendous, but a nightmare. How many stitches are on a baseball? This is such a Jack question. (laughs) (laughs) This is a Jack question. And I read... I think I know it. If you know it, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> I read four articles trying to figure out the answer. Because okay. there's a debate on the internet. How many stitches are on a baseball? Is there an argument on, like, what's a stitch? What does a baseball look like? Do you have a baseball? I mean, now we're looking Is at a baseball. Is this cheating? This feels like cheating. I'll allow it. So No oh, counting. Not, I mean, we can't count them. Is a stitch one? That's what I don't know. I would assume one of those is a stitch. One's a stitch. I might be more confused. It's tough also. Did you ever do this as a kid when you turn a baseball and like try to track where it goes and you get oh, you yeah. lose it? Because it's like, oh, there's this. Oh, Because it looks back. like oh, it's oh, two back. lines, but it's one line. It's one. I don't think that helped you. This didn't help. Get that away from me. I threw up in my mouth a little there. What are you guessing? Over 100. Really? Yeah. Ooh, I like this collaborative effort. I was... And then I got scared. I just erased my answer. Um, I'm trying to count them in my head, and I can't get past six. I'm going to put what my initial guess was going to be before I saw the ball. I feel like I have the last digit right. Do you have your guesses? I have my I guess. do. Reveal your boards. 169. Jack, you are closer. The correct answer is 216 stitches in a baseball. It's crazy. It is crazy. 16, okay. How much are the Seattle Mariners currently valued at as a franchise? And I'm willing to give you a hint if you guys would like, because it's a bit of a hard question. I think we're open to hints. Yeah, hit me up. They are the 15th most valuable franchise in Major League Baseball. Mac, Lou Dab in the middle, huh? That's a good hint, but at the same time... I don't know if it changed my guess at all. No. Because I think I, I don't know. think that's a good hint. Then. I, <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that was the nice way of me saying it was a bad hint. What are you going to guess? Probably like 2.7. Do you do a squiggly two or a straight two? Uh, Squiggly. I hate it when people used to draw lines in the middle of their sevens. That always made me mad. I hate that. Do you have your answers? Yeah. Reveal your boards. 1.6 billion and 2.7. And Jack, I have never been happier to make someone lose a point for that seven. The correct answer is $2.2 million. Wow. million. That's huge. Billion. <laughs> My bad. 
You were, we were way off. <laughs> okay, 2.2. 2. Hmm. And Jake, that reties the game up. That was huge. That was I huge. That. Wow. that eliminated the bonus hot dog question, which just feels kind of right in the world. The, like, top valuable teams throw everything off. Because it's like, oh, the Red Sox are worth 5.9 bill. The Yankees are worth 7 bill. And it's like Mariners are like, Burp. How much does a Shohei Otani jersey cost mm. on MLB.com? MLBshop.com. Ad. I don't think that's the URL either. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I, fr- I didn't know what to uh, put. <laughs> Don't expose me. <laughs> Can we get any clarification? Like, this is... I will provide some clarification. It yeah. is the Angels home jersey. Angels home, like... S- Standard. N- Nike... Nike... Game issue. Yes. I have a guess. I do, too. I think you guys can take an educated guess. If I wasn't... So, there's a lot of fear of going over over here. I don't know yeah. if you can feel that. Yeah, I can feel it a little bit. If I didn't have the going over fear, I think my bid would be up a little bit. Do you guys think you have been playing it more conservative? And that why you guys have a little been? bit. I respect that. I don't think I have because it's three to three. It is true. Tie game. Which I'm happy that we've we've gotten in a good place here. This is this is good. This is exciting. I sh- I'm showing. One twenty four ninety nine. Jake, that's the best guess of the video. The correct answer is one hundred and thirty four dollars and ninety nine cents. That's very close. That's, that's also a good guess too, Jack. That's why I smiled when I looked at your board. How old <laughs> is Josh Hamilton? And this Jesus. question was inspired because I found out Tim Lincecum's age, and it blew me away. Yeah, sometimes it ends early for athletes. How old do you think Tim Lincecum is? I like this as a little appetizer. Forty one. Okay, you, you ruined it. You went over. You ruined though. the shock value. It was thirty nine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Josh Hamilton. Did he, did he start young? He did. He was like a super prospect, and then troubles, and then recovered, and then kind of troubles, yeah. and then... I don't want to go over on age. Going over on age would be almost worse than going over on shoe size. Not as bad, but almost. The shoe size one was my worst. I can't believe I guessed nine. I Maybe I was guessing in women's sizes. The comments are like... Jack gets nine on Madison Bumgarner's shoe size. You're so lucky Madison Bumgarner doesn't use the internet. Athletes have, like, so- shoe sizes in the 20s. Yes. Aaron Judge's shoe size is 17 and a half. Okay, what else you got? Well, I was going to put Aaron Judge, but I thought you would know the answer to that, so I didn't. Okay. Big. By looking at his feet a lot? I have my answer. 37? I went 41. The correct answer is 42, and that's a good baseball, so I might just give you point one a point. <laughs> but I won't. Jake, you got that correct. <laughs> Give me 1.1 1. 1 points. What the hell? Jake, good guess. What a guess. I guessed it for Lincecum, so I just kind of ran it back. Yeah. Honestly, good call, and Jake has taken a two-point lead, but Jack, if you get this answer exactly on the money, pun intended, you get two points because the next question is how much oh. does an MLB baseball cost? Yikes. Boom. You know this. This one, I have... A guess that I feel strong about, but there's a lot of factors depending on what this was, what this country was founded on. Going back to Zoe's tea party. I wish I was there. I'm I don't get guess. invited to you that. You would have been things. horrified. The tea, I probably would have been. I'm assuming that is one of, the, like, that was glorified in paintings. It was probably so chill. I think there's a whole, I think it was named something else and it had a whole rebrand. Oh, really? You can yeah. rebrand historic events? Anything. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cool. All of history is it's written rebranded. by the winners. Mm, good point. Reveal your answers. Thirteen ninety five. Seven dollars. Jack, you are closer. The correct answer is fifteen dollars on the oh, nose. So that's okay. a really good guess. Good guess. Thanks, man. Which is more expensive than I thought it would be. I was more in the Jake range. They get crazily expensive when you're thinking about buying enough to do a practice. Right. When you're like, oh, it's five hundred for balls. Right. And then it's like I could get a bucket of other baseballs for thirty three dollars. Ten baseballs is one hundred and fifty dollars. That's kind of crazy. It's a lot, especially if you're coaching, like, 14-year-olds. Like, uh, maybe we're just going to use other balls. But a dad coaching 14-year-olds, he's willing to spend all of the family money it's on true. baseball equipment. It's and true. You, you have to respect that. I respect the hell out of that. Randy Johnson was voted by our audience as the greatest pitcher ever. How many career innings did he pitch? And I have this as a Jake category. This could be a Jake category, but this is... Also, like, impossible. I like to give the diehard baseball fans a chance to show their knowledge. Yeah, hopefully you guys are playing along at home. I don't know innings well. Like, I don't know what a good amount of innings in right. one season is. I know it's, like, 200 is really good. Okay. So, 300 is crazy, and he probably played for 20 years. You do the math. 
Here's what I'll tell you. I raised my initial guess from you doing fake math a minute ago. That's I'm doing my fake math in my head. I mean, like, thousands seems crazy. But it's in the thousands. <laughs> but I'm just thinking about thousands of innings. He is the greatest pitcher of all time, according to our audience. I don't know if this is, like, the dumbest guess or I just win. I'm fascinated to see your guess. <laughs> I'm excited, too, and so is the audience. So how about you reveal those What'd boards? 4,000? Wow, that feels high. Jake, what's your guess? I went 2,533.1. This feels so high. Well, Jack, the correct answer is 4,135 oh, innings. Nice. What a pull by Jack. Wow. Randy pitched. <laughs> Where's, do you know where that ranks, like, all time? Because that's got to be, like, actually. Old, old time. Old, old time. They it's just a complete threw. game every inning. Yeah. I yeah. could lie to you and say I looked that up, but I didn't. I just saw 4,000, and I said, excuse me, sir. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Rant, no wonder he's Good for you. Greatest. If I went 4,200, oh, I'm over. Oh, that would have broken you. <laughs> Good job, Jack. You have tied the game up. It's yeah. 5 to 5. What? How many questions? Left? i got to start getting more aggressive. There are four questions left on the board, and our next question. How much does a beer cost at Dodger Stadium? Beer sh- brewski, you know? Crack one with the fellas, I've heard. That's not what you guys say? You <laughs> have never heard that. <laughs> I've never been invited to get a beer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to gra- I don't want to lose. Your love tonight. Oh, I should provide some clarity. Oh, okay. Because this is a bit of a, a tough question. <laughs> this is the 16-ounce, like, beer they sell. If that offers any clarity to you. The whole way you just said that whole thing felt like it wasn't you. Yeah, you did transform a little bit. You were very, like, eloquent and, like, serious. Are you saying I'm not eloquent? (laughs) He left game show zone mode. Yeah. This is a tall boy, if we can be candid. I think a 16 ounce is considered a tall boy. Yeah. I've written mine down. I'm fascinated to see what you write down. Don't want to go over at this point in the game. Going over right now would be a critical blow. Critical blow. Going over might lose the game. So we're going to be kind of safe, but I think it's a lot of money. So we're going to go with this. Reveal your answers. Oh, my God. 15. 16. Oh, no, Jake. The answer is 1599. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that is brutal. Jack, you get oh. a point even though oh. Jake was a cent off. I, I have a hemorrhage. Excuse me? <laughs> I don't what? Know, I just <laughs> Are you okay? No. Call no. a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no, what's the I have a... Uh, <laughs> in, ad- in addition, I think I don't get a point because he was one cent off. I think there should be a one cent rule. Oh, he, would he would you like minus. to institute a one cent rule where he just loses a point and you don't gain a point? I think so because I feel dirty getting. Like that shouldn't be a two point swing because you were closer. I like the one cent rule. I'm instituting it. Jake, you are still losing a point, but Jack, I, yeah. you don't get a point. I think it's five to four. If you are one cent off, we won't give the other player were, a point. Were you thinking about going 15.99? No, because Zoe said he was like, this is the one you guys might have a good shot to get, oh, so, so I thought even. it would be. Yeah. If you pulled out a 15.99, <sighs> that would have been historic, but what a good guess either way. Uh, we were all over you that. You guys were all over that. And we've gotten beers at Dodger Stadium. We've had beers at Dodger City, so that could have been it. All right, next question. Whoa. How much does the mm. average MLB ticket cost that's crazy i calculate it so the calculation is based off the average ticket for every mob stadium so then they combined it I, a number popped into my head right away i'm gonna let it ride <sighs> i'm playing scared now i might have been broken there i told you going over would change yeah. you as a man yeah. 32 31 are you what? kidding me you guys were both way off the answer is 114 dollars yeah, according to SportsTrack.com, the average MLB ticket costs a hundred and fourteen dollars. So I'm closer. Urgh! Why? Are right we... at the finish line. We've Why? been one dollar up. Why did we both go there? Wait, how is the how is the average one fourteen? I guess if you count like all the front row tickets that are like two thousand a yeah, pop, like true. for a Dodgers game or something. How many home runs were hit <sighs> in the entire 2022 MLB season? This is. One of those where I don't even know if it's in the hundreds, thousands, or millions. Right. 
I am willing to offer a oh, hint no. if that know. is helpful to you. Your last hint wasn't helpful. I feel like I currently have the advantage, so I don't want the hint. I do think you have the advantage. I mean, I haven't even started thinking about what my answer is going to be. I'm actually doing multiplication over here. Multiplication is the best out of addition, subtraction, and division. Ooh, division's the worst. Multiplication, addition, subtraction, division. I don't know if I remember how to do multiplication. My math is way off. Can I use my calculator? <laughs> <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> or no, I can do this. I don't need you, my calculator. You can do I can do this. I might have to bring out the calculator app again. I mean, I'm not even sure where to begin. I have to use my calculator. Actually, no, I'm going to check my work with my calculator. And I'll see allow how it. close I got. Because it's going to be wrong. I don't know how to do the tabletop multiplication. Hey, I got it right. I hate my guess. Jack, you're not the same person you were before I asked this question. <laughs> I think I kind of have a stupid guess, but I don't really know. Would you like to reveal your answers? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like mine is really wrong. Show us your boards. <laughs> Ten grand? I went five to fifty. See, I went I went one seventy five times. What 30. was your guess, Jake? Five five thousand two hundred fifty. Jake Storiali. The correct answer is five thousand. 215th. You were really close. <laughs> I mean, you were as close as you were going to get. That's great math. What was your math? 175 times 30. 30 teams, 175 homers a team. That's kind of good math. I did I did 200 times 30. Good teams hit 200. But, like, bad teams hit, oh, like, 130. Yeah. Our last question of the video. Jake, you were down by two, so you need to get what? this question exactly right to unlock a okay. bonus question to decide the game. Okay. And the last question is, what is the average salary of an MLB player in 2023? Sorry to end the video with math, guys. <laughs> well, if I go over and you get it under, it's a tie game. So if I was a coward, I'd just one dollar. So it's got bonus cues, dude, and he makes yeah. up the rules to all of this. Yeah, so. I know. I'm if not. you guess a non, <laughs> if you guess an answer that doesn't yeah. feel real, I'm gonna offer Jake a bonus point. There's a non-competitive clause where I give you permission. If my answer is ridiculously low, you can. I'm gonna offer Jake a chance to get an extra point. You can hit me. Average salary of an MLB player. Okay. I had a number in my head. I mean, I feel like it's really hard to get an exact answer. Yeah, I mean, is there sense involved? <laughs> no. Can't. No sense. No sense. Feels kind of low. I don't know if this is non-competitive. Would you guys like to review your answers? I'm going to write down my backup answer. Just because those numbers were cool. Yeah. Sometimes you got to do things for you. Jack, you are correct. The correct answer is $4.2 million. And Jack, you are the winner of the first ever Baseball Price is Right. David Price is inspired edition. The David Price is Right. Comment if you want us to do it again and subscribe. Thank you.